If you live in Montreal, you're probably starting to hear a lot of news about a total solar eclipse coming to our city on Monday, April 8th. This is the coolest astronomical phenomenon you can see. This is when the moon fully blocks out the sun in the middle of the day. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what is a solar eclipse, what date and time it's going to happen, where you got to be to be able to see it, what you need to be able to see it, what it'll actually look like, and finally, why I think you should care and make time to go and see the solar eclipse. All right, let's head inside. So first thing, what is a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse is when the sun, the moon, and the earth all perfectly line up and the shadow of the moon gets cast on a small part of the earth. I've got a globe here and I'm gonna show you what this actually looks like. So this isn't to scale, but what I've got here, I have the sun, I have the earth, and I have a little moon right here. Now the moon goes around the earth every single month and sometimes it lines up perfectly with the sun. The moon is gonna cast a shadow over Mexico, the United States, and parts of Canada, including Montreal. Now we call this shadow the path of totality, and you need to be inside of this path in order to get the full effect of a total solar eclipse. And Montreal is just barely on the edge of the path of totality. So that's the basics of a solar eclipse. It is the moon casting a shadow on the Earth. Next, when is this gonna happen? This is gonna happen on Monday, April 8th, 2024. Now in Montreal, the moon is gonna start eclipsing the sun at 2.14 p.m. And the moment of totality, the moment that the moon fully blocks out the sun, is gonna be at 3.26 p.m. Now, this is gonna be a logistical challenge here in Montreal because it's a Monday, it's a school day, it's a work day, and that's about the time that kids start going home from school. So schools, businesses, the city has to be prepared for this. And you should come up with your own plan if you have kids or a job of what you wanna do around that time. We have another logistical issue here in Montreal, the path of totality. As I showed before, the moon creates a shadow on the earth and we call this shadow the path of totality. If you are in it, you get 100% of the experience. The moon fully blocks out the sun. If you are outside of this path, you only get 99% or less of the experience. This path runs right through the island of Montreal and it actually avoids Laval altogether. So if you're in downtown Montreal, you'll get 100% of the experience. But if you're in Laval, you only get 99% totality. And you might think, what difference could 1% make? 99% is a lot of percent. It is a completely different experience. It is almost basically day and night. At 100% totality, the moon fully blocks out the sun and the moon appears as this black circle in the sky. You'll get to see the solar corona, the flares of the sun. You'll also get to take off your eclipse glasses briefly during totality and you'll get to fully enjoy the experience. At 99% totality, you miss out on that experience. It is worth getting down into the 100% totality zone. Also, the further into the path of totality, the longer total eclipse time you'll get. If you're just on the edge, you might get only about 30 seconds of totality. But if you're closer in, say at the old port, you can expect to get about a minute and 30 seconds of totality. I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can check if you are in the path of totality and you can also check how much eclipse time you can expect to get. I also expect there to be a lot of traffic coming from Laval and towns north of Montreal. So if you are planning to come into Montreal, I suggest you come in earlier in the day because there could be a lot of backed up traffic uh, coming in in the early afternoon. What do you need to see the eclipse? You need a pair of these. These are solar eclipse glasses and they let you safely look at the sun. You absolutely need these in order to look at the eclipse. There's gonna be some free events on the day of the eclipse at the Montreal Science Center, the Old Port, Parc Drin Drapeau, and they'll be giving away some free eclipse glasses. But if you wanna guarantee your own pair, you can go to plateauash.com shop and you can buy a pair from me. It helps support my company and it guarantees that you'll be able to see the eclipse. Always, always look at the sun only with a pair of eclipse glasses. What if it is cloudy in Montreal 
on that day. This is gonna be happening in early April, and that is usually not known for clear skies. But even if it is cloudy, it's gonna be an incredible experience. I've traveled twice to see a solar eclipse, and both times it has been cloudy. What is gonna happen? About 20 minutes before totality, it's gonna to start to get visibly darker outside. At the moment of totality, it will get dark in the middle of the day. It'll be very, very strange. So even if it's cloudy, you should go outside at 3.26 p.m. and go and feel the eclipse. It'll be a very, very unforgettable moment. The last thing I wanna to mention to you is why you should care about this. The last time a solar eclipse happened in Montreal was in 1932, and the next one's gonna happen in the year 2106. All that to say is, this is probably gonna be the only solar eclipse you're ever gonna see in Montreal in your lifetime. But to me, that's not the most interesting thing. To me, the most interesting thing is the cosmic coincidence that makes total solar eclipses actually work. The sun is really, really big, and when you put the moon right beside it, the moon is really small. But when you see the sun and the moon in the sky, they both appear almost exactly the same size. The reason for this is that the sun, although it's really big, it's really far away. And it just so happens that it's the right amount of distance away that it appears the exact same size as the moon. And this is the magic of total solar eclipses. The moon appears the exact same size as the sun and it blocks it out and we get to see that beautiful solar corona and all the other amazing effects of total solar eclipses. Now, you might think, okay, that happens on Earth. That probably happens elsewhere in the solar system, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. No, even though other planets have moons, Earth is the only place in the solar system where our moon is the exact same apparent size in the sky as the sun. And to me, this completely blows me away. What are the cosmic odds that the one planet where this happens is the planet that has life on it that can comprehend that fact? Not only that, we just happen to be alive at the right time where this happens. Millions and millions of years ago, the moon was a bit closer to Earth and it appeared bigger than the sun, and you didn't get the same total solar eclipse effect. And millions of years from now, the moon will be slightly further away from the Earth and it'll appear smaller than the sun, and we won't get that same effect. So we just happen to be here on Earth at the right time in Earth's history to be able to witness that. And to me, this blows me away, this cosmic coincidence. So I hope this video has been useful and is starting to get you excited for the Monday, April 8th, 2024 eclipse coming to Montreal. Thanks for watching.